Good morning everyone. It's another beautiful sunny day in The Hague in this autumn weather. Just uh, walking through the dunes and enjoying the nature and the sounds and smells of the coast. And today I'm just going to talk to you about my experience with mobile phone photography as a tool for photojournalism. And the reason that I'm uh, talking about this is because I forgot my number one rule the other day and I didn't have my camera with me but I did have my phone with me and I was just getting off the tram at Central Station and I noticed there was a major political protest going on and the protest was uh, thousands of farmers coming in their tractors from all over the Netherlands and parking in The Hague and it caused quite a bit of a stir and chaos with traffic and public transport systems. So it was too good of an opportunity to miss and I didn't want to go all the way back home just so I could uh, pick up my camera. If I did that I'd probably uh, miss out on uh, taking photos altogether. So I just had to make do with what I had and what I had was uh, a mobile phone, an iPhone 6, which is uh, really outdated now, but it was the only tool I had. So it was an interesting exercise to see if it could do the job and I could upload those photos to Shutterstock and maybe other uh, websites and those photos could be actually sold and used by news agencies. So. The video you're about to see is my attempt at uh, using this phone and taking video and photos of these farmers doing their thing in The Hague. So a couple of things I've noticed just with the phone, there's a lot of action going on here, is the image stabilization I really miss from my camera. I have to work really hard to keep the footage stable. And the dynamic range, the phone's tiny sensor is struggling with uh, dark and light because it's a bit of a gloomy day but with a bright sky. Uh, so it goes automatically into HDR mode which I think will probably get knocked back by Shutterstock and uh, we'll keep going. We'll just do our best with what we've got. One other thing I'm really missing about my camera in this uh, kind of situation is the storage. Normally I'd have a 32, 64 or 128 gig uh, memory SD card and now I don't know what this thing's got but I had to delete all my podcasts and a dozen videos just to make room to uh, film this event so that's definitely a downside for the camera, uh, for the iPhone. Well, I knew I was going to be challenged by uh, the fact that I didn't have my camera uh, with me, only my phone. So what advantages over the competition or the other photographers who would be uploading or uh, submitting content to uh, news agencies or stock agencies could I have? And one advantage would be if I use different angles, different points of view to take my photos and footage. So often I would go for low angles, uh, I'd go for high angles, 
I'd also make use of different backgrounds. I noticed that the Hague city skyline was in the background of this field where all the tractors were parked. So often I would put uh, the skyline behind the subject that I was photographing. They were just a few things I tried to do just to give my photos a bit of an advantage when it comes to selling. Now of course the aim of uh, shooting this protest was to um, sell images and stock footage and I already uploaded around uh, 30 footage files to Shutterstock and they rejected all of them except for 8 uh, and I also uploaded around 35 to 40 photos taken with the iPhone and I'm happy to say I've already sold two of those photos just in the last uh, day so a mixed bag I'm not exactly sure why they rejected so many of the footage clips but Shutterstock are a lot more fussier than say Pond5 when it comes to uh, acceptance so uh, I'm hoping in the coming weeks or so because there's more farmers protests around the Netherlands that those uh, footage clips that I uploaded and were accepted will uh, also be sold on uh, Shutterstock. Well, we've got some dark clouds on the horizon there. It looks like we'll be, it looks like we'll be getting a bit of rain later. So I better make the most of the sunshine while it lasts. But I've been doing these videos for a few weeks now, well, a few months now, and uh, I haven't had too much feedback about them. I'd be really interested to know what you actually think about my videos. Also, uh, if you have any ideas of future videos, of what you would like to see or know about or learn about, I'm more than happy to uh, read the comments and respond to them. But if you have any ideas, please let me know. I'm in the Netherlands, in Western Europe, so if you've got uh, some uh, thoughts about that, I'm in a good uh, position to take advantage of a lot of different opportunities here, uh, video and stock uh, photo wise. So just let me know, I'm looking forward to hearing some comments, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a like, and I'll catch you in the next video, bye!